In May of 1963, boxing fans descended on Madison Square Garden in New York City to watch middleweights George Benton and Reuben Hurricane Carter square off. Benton, the number two contender, was an accomplished boxer with good foot speed and impressive skills. Eighth-ranked Hurricane Carter out of Patterson, New Jersey, was known for his troubled past and powerful punching abilities. Let's now join legendary ringside commentator Don Dumphy with the action on ESPN Classic drive Through. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, a ringside commentator. Hard-punching middleweights are featured in the main event tonight as George Benton of Philadelphia meets Reuben Hurricane Carter of Patterson, New Jersey over the 10-round distance. The 30-year-old Benton, a well-traveled figure of the Fistic Trails, is making his first appearance in Madison Square Garden. Ranked number two among the middleweight contenders, he's won his last nine fights. In all, he has won 47, lost seven, fought one draw, and knocked out 27. He has never been stopped. The 26-year-old Carter, who is ranked for eight in the 160-pound class, hopes his bout will lead to a title shot. The Patterson Belder has KO'd 11 of the 15 men he has beaten while losing three. Last time out, he was stopped on cuts by Jose Gonzalez in the sixth round while leading on points, the only time he has failed to finish. Carter stands five feet eight while Benton is 5'10". At the Boxing Commission weigh-in today, Carter was 158 with Benton 158 and three quarters. Now here's Johnny Eddy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Next boxing show here in Madison Square Garden. Two weeks from tonight, 15 rounds for the welterweight championship of the world. Louis Rodriguez and Amo Griffith. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the undefeated heavyweight contender from Louisville, Kentucky, the prophet, Cassius Clay. And here is the middleweight champion of the world, Dick Tyson. Johnny Tran, Leo Greenbaum, the timekeeper Freddie Abatello, counting for the knockdowns George Walsh, referee for the main event, Arthur Mercanti, 10 rounds, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, wearing white trunks, he weighs 158 and three quarters, George Fenton, Fenton, his opponent, Patterson, New Jersey, black trunks, he weighs 158, Ruben Hurricane Hunter. Main event, 10 rounds. Good evening, Ruben and George. You both know the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. Let's briefly review them. In the, event, in the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. Break when I tell you to break. Is this understood? Shake hands now, come out boxing. A note for track fans, ABC Sports will bring you live the mile of the century right after this fight. New Zealand's Peter Snell, the world's record holder, meets American champion Jim Beatty for the first time. Round one. Scoring here in New York on a round basis with a supplementary point says not the rounds come out even. Hurricane Carter, the black trunks. George Benton making his first appearance on the Saturday Night Fight TV in the white. Benton is a fine boxer and a good puncher. Hurricane Carter, a terrific hitter. Benton has been held back in his career by inability to get opponents sometimes. Carter has a terrific left hook, a good right hand. Does not use his jab too often. That was Carter with that left hook. Many fans have come up from Philadelphia to watch Benton, and a, a host of them have come from Patterson, New Jersey, to watch Carter.
Carter has muscles he hasn't even rippled yet. One minute to go in round one. Ten seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. Round two at Madison Square Garden, a scheduled ten-rounder. George Benton already on his feet, the white trunks. Reuben Hurricane Carter in black. Arthur McCanty, the referee. Benton is starting out as this round is always going to box a little more. Two minutes left in this round. Benton started hanging around Philadelphia gymnasiums at the age of nine, and at 11, he was sparring with good fighters, fighting about 15 years. Ranked number two among the middleweights, Carter is ranked number eight. Benton would like to get a shot in there with his right hand, but Carter is keeping his left glove up, and now the right glove in front of his chin. Neither one can afford to take liberties with the other. by Carter, some good defensive work by Benton. That's 30 seconds left in round two. the bell ending round two. George Benton was born in Philadelphia May 15th, 1933. In his corner is manager Herman Diamond taking out the mouthpiece. Veteran trainer Joe Polino on the left and his uh, very popular trainer Joe Rose is on the right hand side. On the other side of the ring we've got Reuben Hurricane Carter who was born in Clifton, New Jersey May 6, 1937. In the corner with him is his trainer Tommy Park facing him. Popular Charlie Goldman, who has been signed on by the Carter camp for advice. And uh, Carmine Tedeschi, his manager, is on the left-hand side. That's the corner of Reuben Carter. 
In the mile of the century race coming up right after this bout, five men have run the mile in less than four minutes. In addition to Snell and Beatty, they are Jim Grella, Bob Seaman, and Kerry Weisiger. Jesse Abramson of the New York Herald Tribune, who's here at this fight, will be watching the race on our monitor, I know. Here's round three. Para Hurricane Carter, of the black trunks. In the white trunks is George Benton. And there's an auxiliary fight in the back. That's what the people are standing up about. <laughs> Funny thing, we got a real good fight in the ring. The people are watching the fight in the back. It always happens. <laughs> I don't know. If there's a fight at the ball game, they forget the ball game. That was Carter with that third, John Benton. which fight to watch myself. I better watch this one. Fight in the back is stopped. Both opponents were unable to continue. is doing a pretty good job of boxing at the moment. These boys can vary their punches. Short if the occasion demands or long. One minute to go in round three. Benton was uh, in trouble there for a moment as they mix over in Carter's corner. seconds to go in round three. There's the bell. Round four at Madison Square Garden. George Fenton of Philadelphia, white trunk. Reuben Hurricane Carter, Patterson, New Jersey in the black. Both are middleweight. Arthur McCanty, the referee. That's a quick left hand that Carter has, you'll notice. His right isn't exactly slow either. Benton, a candy boxer, was much more experienced than Carter. Biding his time. Carter has fought a smart fight up to now. He's not expended the energy he usually does early in the bout. Although he's gotten in some good punches on Benton. Trying to 
to take a call on Bentham. still has his Mandarin type mustache. to be wary of cuts. He was cut over both eyes in the Gonzalez fight not too long ago. Here's the battle ending round four. Round five, Hurricane Carter, Black Trunk, George Benton and White. Two minutes left in round five of the ten rounder. Benton is trying to keep Carter from getting any punching power, any room. One minute to go in round five. Ten seconds to go in round five. There's the... We're coming up to round six at Madison Square Garden. George Benton, the white trunks. Hurricane Carter and Black, there have been no knockdowns, although each has scored big punches. Benton would like to stand off and box, but Carter won't let him. He keeps crowded. Benton will warn for a little unusual head work.
six about half over. punches. Benjamin has never been stopped. In fact, they claim he's never been down. championship bout between Harold Johnson and challenger Willie Pastrano. The match will be blacked out on TV in the Las Vegas area. Johnson hasn't been beaten in the last seven years. He won universal recognition as champion last year by outpointing Doug Jones and Gustav Schultz. Regarded by many as the most skillful boxer in the ring, some experts even give him a good chance against Sonny Liston. Also a good puncher, Johnson has scored 32 knockouts and winning 70 out of 78. Pastrano has had three exciting TV fights with Wayne Thornton this year with a loss, a draw, and a win in that order. He's probably the fastest man in the division, also is a fine boxer. He's won 58 out of 77, scoring 12 KO. Harold Johnson versus Willie Pastrano for the light heavyweight title next Saturday on the Fight of the Week. Brought to you by Chipperillos and William Penn Cigars and by the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Round seven. Hurricane Carter, black trunk. George Benton in white. Benton from Philadelphia, Carter from Patterson, New Jersey. Arthur McKinney, the third man in the ring. Very enthusiastic crowd here, by the way. There have been no knockdowns. Double hooking with the left hand. Benton can't seem to get off, as they say in boxing parlance. Maybe coming on a little now. One minute to go in round seven. Benton is crossing that right hand of his over the left glove of Carter now, and it's effective. That's what I 
I said Benton wasn't getting off. He's coming on. It's a big round for Benton. Ten seconds to go in round seven. George Benton in the white trunks had his biggest round of the fight and may have reversed the trend in round seven. We'll see. Hurricane Carter in black. Arthur McCanny referee. above the left eye as the seventh round ended. Freddie Brown, the cut man, was called in to administer to him. Freddie did such a tremendous job with Joey Archer last week when Archer got cut in the ninth round with Victor Zalazar. Benton is countering much better than he did earlier in the fight. George Benton, round nine, there have been no knockdowns. Benton, the white trunks, Carter in black. Benton weighs 158 and three quarters. Carter, 158.
better. In our unofficial opinion, got off out in front in the early rounds, but Benton has come on in the last couple. One minute to go in round nine. They both bombed away. seconds to go in round nine. There's the bell. Tenth and final round coming up. George Benton of Philadelphia, 158 and six quarters, white trunk. Wilbur Hurricane Todd of Patterson, New Jersey, 158 to black. Arthur McKinney, the referee, doing his usual fine job. Tenth and final round, there have been no knockdowns. Two minutes left in the tenth and final round.
almost everybody in the garden standing up now. Except over there. the decision now the uh, deputy commission is over there going over the card Frank Morris along with Dan Dowd from the commission there's Johnny Addy with the results here is Judge Leo Greenbaum scores a six to four Carter one vote Carter Judge Johnny Tran seven two one even Carter The referee, Arthur McCanty, has a 5-4, one even for Fenton. They win it by majority vote, Carter. They split the decision with the judges, Johnny Dran and Leo Birnbaum, voting for Carter, and the referee, Arthur McCanty, voting for Benton. It was a hectic fight. Benton seemed to have that last round won until Carter nailed him and pulled out the fight. Be at television ringside next Saturday night and enjoy the 15-round World's Light Heavyweight Championship bout between Harold Johnson and Willie Pastrano from Las Vegas on the Fight of the Week. Produced by UP, directed by Marshall Diskin, Associate Director Bill Lilling, Technical Director Bill Degenhardt. Stay tuned now for the Mile of the Century, which follows immediately over most of these ABC stations. Make that spare will not be seen tonight, but will return next week. Until next Saturday, this is Don Dunphy saying good night. After beating George Benton, Hurricane Carter got his title shot on December 14, 1964, against newly crowned Joey Giardello. Carter lost his only title bout in a 15-round unanimous decision and finished his professional career with 27 wins, 12 losses, and one draw before being sent to prison in 1967.